HER2 has been one of the biggest success stories, not just in breast oncology, but oncology in general. And gosh, this dates to more than 30 years ago with the advent of uh, HER2 oncogene discovery with the identification that HER2 gene amplification occurs in a subset of breast cancer and that's associated with poor prognosis. And that is something that can be targeted with trastuzumab. So for development, for clinical development of trastuzumab, we needed a companion diagnostic. And Dr. Slayman and Dr. Press and the group, they came up with IHC to look at the HER2 expression or the overexpression of HER2. And it was felt that IHC3 plus would be complete membrane staining in more than 10% of cells. And that's a good biomarker for a subset of patients that would have response to trastuzumab. But then there was this big two plus group as well where you would have close to complete membrane staining in more than 10% of cells. And the idea was some of these tumors are driven by HER2 oncogene. So they added the fish as well, where you can look at HER2 gene amplification. And so if you have HER2 IHC2 plus with HER2 gene amplification or HER2 IHC3 plus, that was called HER2 positive. So that's been the traditional definition for years, HER2 positive where by looking at IHC, if the tumor is IHC3 plus or 2 plus with fish amplification, it's considered HER2 positive. Then if you call something positive, then what's the counterpart? That's negative. And so we started calling the other subgroup HER2 negative, but it does not necessarily mean that there's no HER2 expression because HER2 negative tumors also have HER2 expression. It's lower. It's one plus or two plus without gene amplification, but it's still some HER2 expression.